And today's shout out is gonna go to Cray Cray because you commented on my video and suggested that I make this video. So obviously I'm gonna give you the shout out because it was your video idea. In advance, if you hear my air conditioners, my TV, and any other noise that might interrupt this video. Also, ignore my makeup. It doesn't look the best today, but I went to karate, was there for like two hours, and this is still on. So, I think that's okay. Okay, so Cray Cray asked, and this was a comment on my double belly button piercing, I think is what I called it. Oh no, I, I called it top and bottom belly button piercing. Yeah, this video, anyways piercing video. Cray Cray says, did it hurt? I said, nope, just feels like a tiny sting. That is absolutely, positively true. When you get a piercing, the actual needle going through doesn't really hurt. It's just the essential little sting once they push the jewelry through. In my opinion, it might be different in your opinion, I don't know, but nah, not bad. Cray Cray says, I was wondering what is your opinion on a guy getting a belly button ring? And I replied, I see nothing wrong with it. Piercings are epic to me. I'd date a guy with a belly ring only if we could get matching belly rings. LOL. Cray Cray says, LOL, what would be awesome? Haha, -ha. maybe you could do a video on it. So this is where the video idea comes in. I said, sure thing. Cray Cray says, awesome. I only ask because I'm a guy and I have mine pierced. I got top and bottom and side pierced. That is super cool. I've never gotten the side of my belly button pierced, but I'm actually kind of considering it now that you brought that up. So, <laughs> thank you. And Cray Cray has it on all four sides, and I told him I would make a video on it of my opinion and stuff like that. Uh, he replied with smileys and said, hope you make it soon, lol. So, this was uh, about 24 hours ago that he said he hopes I make it soon. So I figured I never want to let my fans down. I'll make any video you guys really want me to, unless it puts me in harm, <laughs> physical harm, mentally harmed, emotionally harmed. As long as it's a reasonable request, I will pretty much do any video that you would like for me to do. Okay, so my opinion on guys with belly button rings. I really, I really don't have an opinion on it. Like. Oh, hey, that's so attractive and amazing and wow. Or I don't have the um, opinion of, ugh, guys shouldn't get belly button piercings. In my opinion, all piercings are unisex. All piercings are unisex. Because, I mean, our bodies are, okay, let me, let me scratch that. Not all piercings are unisex. Because I don't have a dick. And... Cray Cray is a guy, so he doesn't have a vagina. I have my Christina here, so he obviously can't get that done. But, for the most part, unless we're talking genitals, you can get any piercing guy or girl, male, female, whatever you'd like to say. Um, piercings aren't prejudice, piercers aren't prejudice. They will pierce your belly button, your junk, your nipples. Obviously, I got a video posted the other day of me getting my nipples pierced. And, you know, the majority of people that get nipple piercings are guys. Uh, I guess for the simple fact that they get to show them off and, well, we don't really get to unless, you know, you're crazy like me and you make a video <laughs> of actually getting pierced. And I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, you know... I have my nipples pierced, a guy has their nipple pierced, like, I don't want to show mine too. So I wear like cute little tight shirts sometimes and then you can see them. I think that looks really good on girls, um, if you have your nipples pierced and you're watching this. Um, but I was here to talk about a belly button piercing, so let's get back on track. Um, I have my belly button pierced top and bottom. I love it. I, oh, I've had, I, uh, hmm. I've actually had it done three times. This would be the third, I think. Yeah. That I've actually had my top and my bottom belly button pierced. I take karate and I've been taking it for about two years now. Maybe even a little bit more. And so 
when we fight, we spar, we actually go really hard with it and sometimes I'll get kicked in the stomach um, and that really, really hurts because that's almost where my pants end up going because they, they fall off so I have to like pull them all the way up and I just have to keep doing it and then it'll catch on my belly button piercing, usually the bottom one. And I'm not saying the bottom one hurts more than the top, but I would say that the bottom one is more likely to catch on things because of the fact it's more surfaced than the top. Because your top belly button ring, you can just get the... This is the third time I've had to stop, turn the camera off, talk to somebody, and then get back to recording. Uh, where was I? Um, yeah, I feel like your bottom belly button ring is kind of more outy than the top one unless you have an outy belly button then that would kind of make sense you know either one would catch but I have my belly button is an any and it's a really deep any so when they pierce mine I can show you guys nah, 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 nah. hold on see how mine kinda it hides in my belly button hole <laughs> And this one is kind of, you know, right on the edge of it, and then it's on my skin at the bottom. So, yeah, um, in my opinion, your belly, bottom belly button ring will catch on to more stuff than your top one, if you are an any. If you're an Audi, I don't guess it really matters. So, back to the topic of guys with belly button rings. I mean, I guess I could just go over, like, the basics here. Would I date a guy with a belly button ring? Uh, I mean... What? I don't understand why people judge people with piercings, tattoos, body modifications because it's their choice and it's part of their body. If you like that person, it should not matter what is on the outside and their decorations is like what I like to call them. I don't understand why you would have feelings for somebody and then if you found out that they were a guy and had their belly button pierced that it would make you not like that person as much. I would never be like that. I was dead serious when I replied to Cray Cray and I said I would totally get matching belly button rings with um if I got a boyfriend we'd have to get matching belly button rings like that would just have to be a thing and I would <laughs> I would go around and I would show everybody let him walk shirtless and I'll just wear a crop top and we have matching belly button rings let people hate. I mean I think people are just afraid of different. What I mean by that is when they see something that isn't standard to them, when they see, you know, um, in their mindset, seeing the perfect couple would be a guy and a girl. So when they see a girl and a girl or a guy and a guy, they get I don't even understand, but I'm trying to explain. Uh, and it's, you know, there's been gays for years, trans for years, and we've just now finally been accepting as a country in America to let all 50 states let people marry whoever they want to marry. Because <laughs> why shouldn't you be able to marry whoever you want to marry? Like if I was in love with somebody and they happened to be a female, If they treat me right, if I treat them right, if we have a good relationship, no problem. So what, I, what I'm getting at is people are just really prejudiced when it comes to different things because I feel like they're afraid of it. Because have you ever seen just something out there? And this, is, this mostly goes for like older people that are more prejudiced not, as opposed to young people. There are young people that are very prejudiced about tattoos, piercings, and modern tattoos, piercings, and body modifications, but it's more in the older um, generation that people, you know, okay, so when I go to like amusement parks, not talking about any of the people, when I get ready to get on a ride and I see it do something crazy, it's like, <gasps> Your heart races, you know? I mean, not anymore because I've rode like every single roller coaster they have, but um, like 
I'm sure you guys can relate. Like you, sometimes you feel like your stomach drops when you see or feel something different. And when you see something different, like in my case, if it was, <laughs> I don't know, anything just out there and weird, I would be kind of interested in it, but kind of like, whoa, that's, that's different. And my cat is about to hump my Gatorade bottle. My fucking Gatorade, man. I love this Gatorade. It's melon. Uh, so anyways, I, um, I can't really explain what I want to explain, but mostly the fact is that people are afraid of different. And it is a little different to see a guy with a belly button piercing because, it, I mean, just not because it's weird, but it's just because I guess not a lot of people have them. And, Maybe it's because of jobs where, like, they were afraid that they would rip it out. Maybe it's just never crossed their mind. For whatever reason, they don't have them done. Doesn't make it any more weird, awkward, or different for any other guy to have it pierced. I mean, it's probably just never went through their mind, hey, I'm a guy, I want to go get my belly button pierced. Some girls don't even think about, hey, I want to go get my belly button pierced. Some people just don't like piercings. And that's fine, you know? Not everybody likes the same thing. And we don't have to. That's what makes us so different from each other. Because if everybody wanted tattoos and piercings, we'd all look the same. Yeah, guys with belly buttons, it's not weird at all to me. Maybe it is to some people, and you just have to ignore those people if they put you down for having a belly button piercing because you're a guy. Like, if you're at the pool or something, you're in public, and your belly button happens to be showing, I think it's actually really unique, and I feel like it's really unique and original for a guy or, you know, anyone to get their belly button pierced four times, like, you know, uh, on each edge top and bottom. I think that's really cool. So no matter whether you're a guy or you're a girl, you can just go get any piercing you want. Get any tattoo you want. Get it anywhere you want. Like I said, the only two piercings that you cannot get due to your gender is of course the genitals because not... yeah we don't all have the same genitals. I have a vagina, so um, my piercing is called a Christina, and don't quote me because I haven't actually looked this up in a while because I just haven't thought about it, but I'm pretty sure they call um, a guy's piercing, their genitals, a Prince Albert? Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. I would look it up, but I'm too lazy. I'm really tired, so I've probably just ranted all through this video. And I had to edit like a crap ton of it out because, you know, I'm just really talkative sometimes at night. Anyways, guys, it was really fun just sitting here talking with you. Uh, Cray Cray, thank you so much for the video idea. I did like this one a lot. Hope you all guys have a great night, a great day, whatever it is, wherever you're at. And I love you so much. Thank you so much for all the subscribes and views. I did not expect to get 5k views in a week on my nipple piercing video. That was awesome. And to all my new subscribers, I've reached over a thousand. I want to say I'm close to 1100 subscribers. I could be wrong. I promise not to disappoint you. Um, and I hope you enjoy my videos and my channels. In my channels. I hope you enjoyed my video and my channel. Uh, like I said, whenever you have an idea, just drop it below. I really do pay attention to them and I really do listen. I will make a video of whatever eventually, uh, even if it's posted up kind of late. Alright you guys, well have a good night, have a good day, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Bye.